the pizza. Ooh, nice and ready. Let's check it out close. Welcome back uh, to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time and looking at my videos. If you are new, consider it to subscribe because this is the channel of the pizza where you can learn everything for free. Yes! Anyway, today I finally decided to make a full video about uh, making the dough with uh, fresh yeast for the house. Yes, how to make pizza dough with fresh yeast for the house. I've never done this before. So this one, before we start, leave a thumbs up. That's it. I'm gonna explain everything, the details in this video. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make. Yes, from scratch. These are the ingredients that we need for making this recipe. One liter of water, room temperature. One kilo is 600 grams of zero zero flour or even the regular flour. 10 grams of fresh yeast. 40 grams of sea salt. 10 grams of extra virgin olive oil. 5 grams of honey. Add the water in the box. Okay, the first thing is get your yeast and uh, be, put it in between your finger and make sure you melt it all in the water. Now put uh, your honey in the water together with this. Let's mix it up a little bit. Very important, get half amount of your flour and uh, add in the, the water with the honey and the yeast. Let's mix it up, just like that. Now. Now you can cover the box with uh, a towel or if you have a lid, go with the lid. After the 30 minutes pass by, you are ready to add uh, our salt. We add the salt, we mix it up really well, we melt the salt with the dough and now we are ready to add the rest of the flour. Little by little, you have someone that helps you and voila! Now we are ready to start uh, to make the actual dough, all by hands. Okay, when the dough is about uh, the whole together, you guys are ready to add the olive oil, just like that. And then we are, we can go ahead and mix it up again the dough, just like that. Wow, nice. Okay guys, at this point the, the dough is all together, we can go ahead and put it on the counter. Make sure you get everything from uh, Armadia. Coming soon on my on description, the link where you can purchase this, I'm putting it on the market. So we, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix everything together. So we want, we want to be able to make sure that the dough is all nice and smooth. So we flip it over and then we gotta make the dough just like that. You want to work out the dough just uh, with your left hand you pull it on the towards you and with your right hand you pull it in just like that look equal left hand you pull it towards you and this one so you want to create the dough machine basically I prefer to make the dough by hands because uh, 
the humidity and the heat of your body makes the dough a little bit different. So you work the dough for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then when you notice that the dough is a nice, it's getting all together, you don't feel anymore the little balls inside the dough, the dough you see is ready. We use uh, the olive oil in this dough just because we are using an electric oven for the house, which the oil will uh, help the, the cooking process. Then we have the we had the honey to give a little bit of color to all, to our dough. Okay, guys, now whew, it's getting hot. Just gonna get the occasion to see this t-shirt are for sale here under the video. You'll see. You can purchase this now on Teespring. Let's get back to the video, let's focus. The dough is getting together, so we're gonna give a little couple of shots more. So now we're gonna, at this point, we're gonna let it rest for about uh, 30 minutes. Okay, we let it rest for 30 minutes, and then we're gonna get back. This way the gluten gets more strong. There we go, guys. 30 minutes is passed by. I wanna show you something, like you can see, the dough is nice and strong. So at this point, we don't touch it. Okay, so at this point, we need a sheet pan or a box, whatever you need. I choose this sheet pan because uh, it's more easy to find at the house. So we put it right here next to you. We put a little bit of uh, flour inside, just like that, doesn't stick. Now, we're ready to make the balls. So we cut one line. Okay, so now we are ready to make the balls, just like that. We're gonna make the balls about 250 grams each. So we make the balls nice and smooth. Done. I'm gonna touch this one, just follow my hands. Just like that. Okay, now that we finish the balls, we have to place in a dough box in the in the container just like that. We have to put one balls, make sure you put a separate from each other. We have to give space. And you make sure, when you make the ball, we have to make sure it's close, just like that. And then we put a face up. This part needs to go down, just like that. Now we, we put a little bit of flour on top, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, so now well, let's get the plastic wrap. We have to make the plastic just like that. We have to cover really good with plastic. Make sure you tie, make it tight. Got it? Now we have to put a, we have to make sure everything is covered. The dough is nice and close. We have to wait for about six hours at room temperature. And then, if you don't use it, you can put it in the fridge. Like you did one. Six hours. Here we go, guys. Six hours exactly on the clock. Done after. So now, I want to explain to you how to take it out without sticking the dough. Because I have some comment on my, my previous video on how to make the dough. So we're gonna cut from the sides, all of them, exactly. Now gently, pay attention how I take it out. You gotta make sure, just one shot, tuck, tuck, tuck. See? Just like that. It doesn't get sticky, see? You gotta make sure that it's not. You have to go one shot. You hold the dough. You hold it just like that. Look, tuck, 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 tuck. This way it doesn't get doesn't get messed up. 
gently, you pinch it and you pull it out. Same time. Don't be scared. It's the dog that needs to be scared of you. Oh, shit. Done. You guys see? Now, very important step. We're gonna make the pizzas. Very important step, we have to put the flour. Put the flour with the one spatula. It needs to be, the spatula needs to be big like this. Not too big, not too small. So we have to cut one side, make sure it's cut, and we have to pinch it inside. Now, we have to, we have to make sure to put a little bit of flour just to, right there under the, then we pinch it and we go under. This step is very important. There is no detach. Now, we put a little bit of flour on the floor and we pull it out and we flip it over in the flour. Done. Now, couple of times in the flour, gently. We have to touch the dough very gently. Then we put it, now we start to stretch. How you stretch? In the meantime that we are stretching, we have to cover the dough again, because uh, if you leave it open, you will make this part too dry and then we're gonna mess it up. How you cover the dough, like that. So again, with a plastic wrap, we have to cover, because uh, you, wanna, you don't wanna, uh, you don't want to make the dough too dry. But if you're gonna use it again, you can also put a little, like just a, a towel on top and that's it. So let's park this on the side and let's get into the pizza. Today, I'm going to cook the pizza in a home oven. So this way, you're gonna be able to see this pizza, how it will come out, 100%. Because in this channel, you'll find no secret. Let's get it. This is how you stretch. Gently. Don't touch the cross. Don't touch the center. Gently like this. Then flip it over. Again. Now press everything, but besides the cross. Don't touch the cross. Now pay attention. One end like this. One end, you pull it on top. Take off all the flour. At this point, we have to flip it over and we're gonna put the top on top, the bottom on the bottom. So now we're gonna stretch a little bit more hard. One end, we control the dough. One end, we pull without touching the crust. Now we turn our hands, flip it on top of the dough, on top of the hands. Now with right hand, you measure the dough. Left hand, you pull gently, just like that. Done. Now, at this point, we're ready to make the pizza. Okay, now, because the oven is a low temperature, we have to give it a little bit cook. So we have to give the first cook first. We have to give first, we have to give the first cook. I forgot the English. Uh, we have to give the the, we have to cook the dough, we have to pre-cook the dough. That's it. We have to pre-cook the dough. Uh, so, and then we have to add the mozzarella and the toppings. This way, the mozzarella doesn't burn, because when it starts to bubble, the mozzarella burns. So let's go, go, let's go ahead and cook the dough first. This step is very simple. You pinch it, you go, pum, that's it. Now, pinch it and finger under. Pinch it and finger under. I have a, all these tricks, how to do this stuff in my channel. So go ahead and uh, check it out. Let's go in the oven. Okay, so now we're gonna cook the pizza. We have to pre-cook the pizza. We go ahead. I like for the home oven to have the bricks. You can buy this on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the description on the bottom. Let's go ahead and close. So we're gonna cook it for about a couple of minutes. At the, at the max temperature. Okay, so now we're gonna give a little check to see because we want the pizza a little bit gold. Without opening the oven. Okay, guys, the dough, the first cook is done. You can use, I suggest to use something like this. 
Let's go ahead and let's put all the ingredients. Let's finish it. I like to put a little bit of uh, olive oil on the crust, not too much. This way, it will give a nice color to the crust when it will cook. Now we're gonna add a little bit of uh, fresh mozzarella. Nice, done. Uh, little bit of uh, olive oil on top and uh, more Parmesan cheese. I like to put some uh, black pepper, this way reminds me of uh, my own town, Bari. Let's go ahead and cook it again. Let's go ahead and let's put it in the same spot before. And we're gonna cook until the mozzarella will be nice and melted. Okay guys, I see the mozzarella is a little bit bubbly. That means that the pizza is nice and ready. Let's go ahead. Woo! Nice, let's go check it out better in the light. Okay guys, the pizza, woo, nice and ready. Let's check it out close. Wow. Nice, crunchy and soft at the same time. Let's go ahead and let's finish it. I like to put some basil at the exit. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. A little bit of olive oil and we are done. Okay, now we're gonna cut it with my special cutter right here. Um, you know what, I like this cutter, man. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift it up. Wow, look at the cross, nice and soft. Look at the cross, wow. Amazing, nice and soft. Wow, but you know. I love you so much, I love you so much, I love you so much. Wow. I have to say, man, this is the best. Mm. It's too good. It's too good. 